John explains that the first step involved is sourcing for the seeds and sorting them in the nursery beds. So these are the these are ready tubes for seedling transplantation. So before transplanting, you need to source some mango seeds, and then from there, you just sort them into in the, in the nursery beds. After one to three months, you transplant the seedlings. The transplant period lasts up to six months, after which they are grafted. That is now improved the uh, crop, uh, improved the mango seedling. John emphasizes that grafting helps improve the seedling. Apart from mangoes, they also have lemons, purples, and agroforestry trees. It's like uh, Macamia lutea, we have um, uh, Trafelia, we have Moringa, we have uh, Damenalia brownie, and so many other agroforestry, agroforestry trees. Other trees, we have lemons, that's fruit trees, we have citrus orange, and tissue culture bananas, which we recently brought from Cheeky Wat. The source for the mango seedlings from the community. We just inquire if the seeds are ready. Now we inform the community that we need to buy the seeds from them. They just collect for us and then we pay after bringing them here. Yeah, how much do you buy one seed? Thank you so much. Because a seed you can collect from anywhere. We just pay 50 cents by, by single seed. The polythene is used for. The polythene is used to preserve the water. So, this is now the nursery bed. And before you lay the nursery bed, you need to levelize. After levelizing it, you buy a polythene sheet. And then you just lay it under the crown, and then you just put the sand. The sand is, is good for sowing of mango seeds. The reason is that it is easy in terms of maybe um, water percolation mm -hmm. and then germination also. It is very easy for mangoes to germinate because it is loose and then it has some thicker particles. Mm -hmm. That one now allows water to penetrate easily. Mm -hmm. And then the reason of the polythene is that to, to, to preserve the water mm -hmm. for, for a period of time. He demonstrated how to sow the mango seeds. You need to know when you want to sow a seed, a mango seed, mm -hmm. you need to understand very well that where does the radical come from and then where the bloom will germinate. Mm -hmm. and then you need to sow when the bloom will pass as upright and then the radical under the crown. So you just sow it this way. You put it under the sand that way. And then you just leave it and then you put some mulches for almost two weeks. And then after two weeks, you just remove the mulches when, while the, the mango seeds are germinating. He explains that you should let the seedlings germinate until they develop the green matter in the leaves. That helps in photosynthesis. And then, after three months, you just transplant onto the empty tubes that you have already potted. Yeah. And then from there, you just continue nurturing, taking care of them for another nine months. Yeah. And then when the tree just pens of thickness, mm -hmm. now crafting begins. He cautioned transplanting before developing the green matter because it leads to withering. Grafting involves the local mango and Zion. This is now the crafted mangoes. <laughs> As I had said uh, before that crafting involves two types of mangoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it involves two varieties, that's the local mango, mm -hmm. we call it the rootstock, mm -hmm. and then the hybrid mango, we call it the Zion. He explains that the reason for grafting is to increase the maturity rate. The reason for using the local mango as rootstock is because it is resistant to diseases and can develop stronger roots for tapping water and nutrients, while the Zion is more productive. So where do you get the Zions from? In our, in our farm orchard, we have got mangoes. That is the mature mango. So we call them the matter blocks, whereby we cut the sand from, the, from our matter blocks within the farm. And these matter blocks have been inspected by KVs and HCBA. 
and they have satisfied that it is good for crafting. Yeah. They have a variety of mangoes, which include apple mango, Kent, and Tommy. Uh, generally, yeah. generally, I can say that all the mangoes are good, mm -hmm. but the difference is the size, the mm -hmm. quantity of a fruit, mm -hmm. determines the what kind of a mango is this, and the sweetness, yes. Yeah. There are two varieties of popo in the nursery. When we come to the popo site, we have got uh, two varieties. We have the local variety that is called the. the in, in, when we come to local varieties, there are so many varieties. There is another one called the Spiro, Mountain, Anitiu, and so many others. But an hybrid bobo, we call it Sunrise Solo. That means that that one is a moprotite. When we say a moprotite, we say that that is male and female combined together. And then when we come to the local bobo, we say it is Taoshias to show that it has different male and different female. Mm -hmm. That means you need to plant them together so that cross-pollination can be done. He sells the purple seedlings at 10 shillings each. So we just propagate these seedlings for the benefit also of the community. Mm -hmm. Because our people here have seen the importance of this tree nursery. Generally, when they come here, they know that they love to get something which will help them, which will help them in future. Yeah. Okay. Do we do you craft the purpose also? No, we don't craft. We have some varieties mm -hmm. which are hybrid. I say the sun called the sunrise sunrise solo. Mm -hmm. Okay. He explains that purple tree takes six months to reach maturity, and one can continue harvesting for up to six years. For purpose, he does direct sowing. Yeah. What is the reason for that? Yeah, generally this one is somewhat delicate. If you put it under the nursery and then you just want to transplant, it will wet away, it will wilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it will tie. According to John Kittilit, improving citrus orange is different from improving mangoes. This undergoes a method known as padding. We just uh, uh, do what we call padding by removing a very small eye from a citral, citrus orange and then you just mix it on a lemon and then you just cover it and then leave it for another 21 days then from there you just remove the outer cover and then you just curl the lemon itself and then the citrus lemon takes over What is the reason behind budding? So what we are looking on top of this one is the quality fruit and what we are looking on the bottom of this one mm -hmm. is resistance and strength. And strength, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is the reason for having lemon seedlings in the nursery? Our intention of establishing lemon is that we want to pad them. Because we, we want to meet the demand of our customers, we want to also to meet the demand of the, of the entire community. Because the community saw the need of having a citrus orange. That is why we have started propagating a lot of lemons. Mm -hmm. So our intention is we want to change it into a citrus orange citrus by orange crafting, orange. by doing budding. Yeah. Yeah. In the nursery, they have five varieties of tissue culture bananas. When I say five varieties, that means we have for us like uh, a chayam, mm -hmm. we have seleki, we have uh, Chinese dwarf, mm -hmm. We have what we call uh, BHIA 17, and then we have um, um, we have Williams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are the advantages of tissue banana cultures in comparison to using suckers? When we continue planting bananas, you understand that there must be some diseases arising, mm -hmm. and that planting material is not tewa. It is not disease free. It is not a clean material. Mm -hmm. That is why we have just penchant into tissue culture bananas because it is a clean material. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then when we come to economical importance is that what we are looking, we are looking on the side of production. Mm -hmm. That is why we have penchant into these new ideas, new varieties of bananas, mm -hmm. because they just produce well at a very short period time during planting until maturity.
the banana takes 16 to 18 months to reach maturity. He states that they don't propagate the tissue culture bananas. They get them from the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Yeah. What do you advise someone who has stick to the old culture of planting bananas to adopt this new, uh, new technology? So my advice to those farmers who are looking for suckers, mm. so I want to ask to advise them that they need to look for new, new varieties, new tissue culture bananas, because these are pure seed, this is free. The ones you take from the field, the field, you may be carrying a disease from someone's field to your field, and then you plant that disease forever, and it will never finish. It will, it will never get finished. Our prices for tissue culture bananas, every seedling, every plantlet, we sell it at 100 shillings. So our prices are cheap and available. Yeah. It is through this tree nursery that the farmers in the community have improved their farming techniques. I just advise everybody that we need to plant mangoes. We need, when you are on the highest altitude, you need to plant avocados. Mm -hmm. On the lower altitude, you need to plant mangoes. And then on the part of, of, of the environment, mm -hmm. we need to take care of our environment because God has given us to be the stewards. The, care, the, 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 the people who can take care of it. God has got a reason why he gave the man the authority to take care of his nature. Because a man can never live without a, a tree. Food production has been made even more interesting. But also, solving the problem of uh, soil, the soil acidity. The fertilizer uh, resuscitates or rejuvenates our soils, which has been adulterated. And now, what we were getting maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago, is not what we are getting at the moment. It's big, it's new, it is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkonyas as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm. Double digging is a garden technique used to increase soil drainage and aeration. It involves the loosening of two layers of soil and addition of organic matter. We visited AIC Diguna Tindred Station, which is a, a faith best ministry who have established a garden that feeds up to 400 people daily within the station. Mr. Kamau, who is the farm manager, took us through the process of double digging. Uh, what we normally do, we, we, we do the, the, the trenches. You need a wheelbarrow, you need the, the markers, you need a ruler. We need the strings, the wheelbarrow and the jembe. Now how we go about it, to Nanzaga na kuchimba one meter from this position. And a meter moja, mchanga yote a one meter cubic, because this is one meter, so we go one meter. Hii yeah. mchanga ya meter moja unapeleka musho. Mm -hmm. Then unatafuta waste mata ya shamba, kama hii. Mm hii -hmm. yeah. waste ya mbao tumesanya sanya, tunatafuta ingine inje matawi, miti, mabaki ya maindi. Uh, then to Nahitaji Mbolea, Mbolea yeah. Ngombe, Hama ya Kuku. Now, every bada ya kuchimba mita moja, ulefu na upana, mchanga watu tunakoza kwa huku. Kuenda chini, ni sentimita arubaine na tano. Yeah. Chini. So, hiyo shimo ambayo itakuwa hapo, tunakoza kwa misho. Then after that, tunatafuta hurubaru moja ama mbili. One meter, tunafuna mita moja ama ambapo hapo wa jalini. Yeah. Mwami yu mchanga, yu mbolea, matafuta waste nao hili ya shamba, nyasi, na whatever leaves, inaweka chini. Uweka chini volume ya 30 cm, so that means utakuwa na 15, wei mbaki juu also. Now you dig, unachimba, utilutisha kwa hiyo shima.
the time when I come to you do the same process. You work on Borean Diri, Ju, and Moja Land. Diri, and Moja Land. If you come to you, you can go to the Moja and go to the Muchanga. But if you come to you, you can go to the Muchanga. You can go to the Muchanga. Yes, then you do the arrow, the, the raking, and the raking. But what is the reason for having east to west beds? Now, kuna varieties to fauto fauto kama hii kitunguu tunaona imewekwa kwa rangi nyingi, hii ni rangi tatu, kuna karo ambayo inaenda rangi nyingi, kuna sukuma rangi tatu, na kuna rangi mbili pia. Now, we do east to west kwa sababu ya jua. Jua inatoka east inaenda west. Now, wakati jua inaenda ina feed the whole system, the whole line to kamwe mpaka mwisho the whole day. So tutashia jua equally. For example, ukipanda from north to east, kuna half of the day either hakutapata jua because kama inaenda juu kidogo itakuwa shade kivuli kwa the other part. He also recommends the use of compost manure in comparison to artificial fertilizer. And the following are his reasons for this. We do the compost. We advocate for that because you know horticultural things most of them they are for three months or less. For example, there is the so-called spider plant. I think you need three, three, week, three weeks in the harvest. So if you do the artificial fertilizer, it will just absorb. But organic manure is the best. So we are devoted to do the organic. In their farm, they have alternated crops with all the beds labeled. Well, the reason why we do this inatusaidia kuna those pegs so mzee atajua b1 alipanda kitungu for example so he has to keep the records atajua b1 alipanda kitungu one itamusaidia kienda kwa records atajua b1 alipanda kitungu na the first time of the year alipanda ilitoa 50 kg for example now the next one ni sukuma the other one is carrot so inamusaidia kufanya proper crop rotation yes number two wakati atagundua mazao inarudi ina, ina chini sana it will be an alarm kwamba either he has to do the system again to repeat the, so, the, the, the whole thing again ama there is something missing number two, uh, kitungu inasaidia ku repel uh, wadudu kuna wadudu ambao ni harmful to the other vegetables now so it wise kupanda uh, kitungu unapanda maybe la like, mbili mbili unapanda kitungu nikitoa hii yote huwa na kuanga great turn Mr. Kamau gives us some of the challenges they encounter in their farm. But are there solutions for these problems? Yeah, sometimes we have challenges with uh, magonjwa. At the moment, kuna, kuna shida ya sukuma. We have a viral infection kwa sukuma. Now that is one way of telling us. Muzee Juzia Likwaniambia, it's time for us to move to another plot. Kwa sabi na manisha kwamba mchanga hapa, niko infected. Hapa tumerima kwa munda, kumia katani. So it's time now to move to another plot. We are, we are assuming ya kwamba by moving next year, utamuku tutaenda mahali kengini. So the challenge is Kwanza ni Mbolea, ya Kwanza, you know, to harvest enough to nangombe kidogo. Now, ya Kiri, ni Magonjo, about, for example, that viral infection. Tuna dawa, like now, uh, today tumetumana roli moja ya kuleta lime. Yeah, tumia lime. Number two, tuna, tuna treat mchanga na karatasi, nyeusi. Hiyo uh, karatasi nyeusi uh, baada ya kutengeneza kitanda kama hii kupiga reki vizuri when it's ready na kufunika na karatasi nyeusi mwisho mpaka mwisho na so we bake the soil so inamaliza wa wiki moja ama mbili kulingana na temperature for example kama January 2 weeks are enough na ina sweat na whatever is there kama kuna wadudu ama kuna ugonjwa na nakufa Therefore, for successful farming, the key to a bountiful harvest, good soil, along with adequate light and moisture, 
fertile and well drained soil can make all the difference between healthy pest resistant plants and those plagued with problems.